If you've seen my comments about Fox News in the past, you are well aware of the nickname I've given the network. It's the Bullshit Factory. But maybe it should be the Bolshevik Factory. As in the Bolsheviks, the communists who helped form the Soviet Union. Judging by how the network allows one of its most popular hosts to spew pro-Putin propaganda. Why is it disloyal to side with Russia, but loyal to side with Ukraine? They're both foreign countries that don't care anything about the United States. Kind of strange. Imagine if Mexico fell under the direct military control of China. We would see that as a threat, of course. There'd be no reason for that. Well, that's how Russia views NATO control of Ukraine. And why wouldn't they? We don't get anything out of pushing Ukraine into NATO. So why are we doing this? You should hear how Comrade Tucker sounds when he's translated into Russian, as in Russian state television. There it is right there. They're eating it up like a bowl full of borscht, pointing to what he's been saying for months. Apparently, same goes for the re reaction for viewers of Trump state TV, and that is Fox, of course. Democratic Congressman Tom Malinowski says his office is now getting calls from folks who say they watch Tucker Carlson and are upset that we're not siding with Russia. Tucker has even laughed at the idea that the U.S. would defend, U defend Ukraine militarily. A friend just sent this tweet, quote, having lost in Afghanistan the graveyard of empires, the regime's next military adventure, invading Russia in winter. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's laughing. It should be noted that lawmakers from both parties, as well as foreign policy experts, have long said that Putin's chief objective is to reconstitute the Soviet Union. Sound far-fetched? Last December, Reuters reported that Russian state TV had aired some provocative comments from The Autocrat, a documentary, Russia, New History. In that documentary, Putin lamented the collapse of the Soviet Union, saying it was a disintegration of historical Russia under the name of the Soviet Union. We turned into a completely different country, and what had been built up over 1,000 years was largely lost. Yet for months, during the escalating tensions between Russia and Ukraine, Tucker has been questioning why the U.S. doesn't side with the Kremlin. But why would we take Ukraine's side and not Russia's side? Uh, it's a sincere question. If you're looking from the American perspective, side. no, but why? I mean, who's got the energy reserves? Who's, who's the major player in world affairs? Who's the potential counterbalance against China, which is the actual threat? Why would we take Ukraine's side? Why wouldn't we on Russia's side? I, I don't, I'm totally confused. Well, clearly, Ukraine is a democracy. Uh, Russia is an authoritarian regime that is seeking to impose its will upon a validly elected democracy in Ukraine. And we're on the side of democracy. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I'm guessing for democracy in other countries, I guess. That was Ohio Republican Congressman Mike Turner taking Tucker to school, trying to explain that the U.S. has historically stood with democracies in Europe and against dictators who want to expand their borders by force, you know, because we're the good guys. Now, sure, Putin is more czar than communist, and he may well be the richest man in Russia, the oligarch's oligarch. But don't forget, the Russian courts have a long track record of jailing opposition leaders like Alexei Navalny. Last September, a European human rights court found the Kremlin responsible for the 2006 poisoning of a former Russian intelligence official who defected to the West. So Tucker is clearly standing on the side of a dangerous autocrat with delusions of grandeur. And not just because Tucker can relate to that. It's because Tucker seems to have a thing for autocrats, a strongman fetish. Lately, he's been fixated on Hungary and that nation's anti-democratic leader, Viktor Orban. Last year, Tucker aired his show from Hungary, and now he's back with an interview with Orban, who makes clear his disdain for migrants coming into his country. Birth rates are declining. That's true in this country as well. It's true in Europe. The populations are literally disappearing. Most governments ignore this trend or instead import new citizens from the rest of the world. But we don't like that approach because we would not like to after our personal life. We would not like to leave this country to the migrants. We would like to leave it to our grandchildren. We would not like to leave this country to the migrants, Orban said. Sounds familiar if you watch Tucker's show and all of his segments demonizing immigrants as, quote, making the U.S. dirtier. Never mind the fact that this nation was built by immigrants and that our traditional national motto is e pluribus unum, out of many one. Tucker is not just attempting to mainstream authoritarianism. He is, of course, playing divide and conquer for ratings. 
The biggest example of that may be closer to home and the COVID pandemic. On almost a nightly basis, Tucker brings on guests who peddle anti-vaccine nonsense, like this segment that aired last night. These mRNA vaccines, the mRNA COVID vaccines need to be withdrawn from the market now. No one should get them. No one should get boosted. No one should get double boosted. They are a dangerous and ineffective product at this point against Omicron. The spike that they make your body make that you then produce antibodies to is not the Omicron spike. To be totally clear, what he is saying is absolute garbage. No pushback from Tucker. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and highly effective. And just as Tucker and the Bolshevik factory are putting our democracy in peril, acting as a mouthpiece for Putin, they are doing something perhaps even more destructive. With the U.S. approaching one million deaths from COVID, Fox and the people ultimately in charge there, the Murdoch family, are inflaming a public health crisis. To the Murdochs, it's your network. You own this. You own Tucker's program that's putting our healthcare workers in peril, putting our hospitals in peril, putting all of us in peril for ratings, for money, so these American oligarchs can keep pumping out bullshit into our homes. Now, if only there were a vaccine for all of that.